In this video, we'll talk about rendering our final output. Once we've finalized our animations within Keyshot, we can now create high quality video output. To render out our animation, we'll hit the render button, and instead of selecting a still image, select animation as our output type. We can define the resolution of our animation by either selecting one preset resolution from the drop-down menu items or manually typing values in. If we'd like to render out only a portion of our animation, we can do that by selecting a specific frame range or using our work area from the timeline. These blue flags designate our work area and we can adjust them as needed. You can also see the number of frames that need to be rendered. This is dictated by the total animation length and the number of frames per second. For example, a 10 second animation at 30 frames per second gives us 300 total frames. You can adjust your frames per second in the timeline settings. When all of the frames have been rendered, Keyshot can automatically encode them into AVI, QuickTime, and Flash video formats. The type of format depends on the intended use and platform. AVIs have better support on Windows machines, while Macs work better with QuickTime videos. If you select the Frame Output option, Keyshot will also leave the individual frames in a folder so that they can be used later. This is a great option since you can then re-encode them in other formats using third-party video software. Multiple image types are supported and can be accessed with the drop-down menu. You can also define the number of cores that Keyshot uses to process the frames. For the quality settings, it's important to note that every frame has to be individually rendered. Setting the quality very high can greatly impact your render times for a long animation, so it's best to render out a single frame to judge the time needed for acceptable results. For more information on render settings, the Keyshot manual has in-depth information for using the Advanced Control, Maximum Time, and Maximum Samples settings. You can access the manual under the Help menu. Navigate to Render Options, then Quality to get detailed explanations of each. Under the Settings tab in our project window, you also have the option to enable Motion Blur. This will create more realism by slightly blurring the moving parts in your animation. Now when we press Render, our entire animation will be rendered in our chosen video or image formats. You can find more tutorials at keyshot.com learning.